So an expert system is an information system that captures and stores the knowledge of human experts and then imit imitates human reasoning and decision making. That means you should have some decision making capabilities and you should how you take the decision based upon the reasonings based upon the reasonings from the humans so you should take the decisions you should have the ability to take the decision so that's why you are called as an expert if i am saying as an expert in this subject that means i know what is, um, if someone can ask me regarding this subject i can able to answer that questions if i am expert of this subject that means if someone asks me about this subject that means i can able to answer that thing. so expert system consists of two main components that is knowledge base and inference engine what is knowledge base knowledge base is it is a database that contains facts provided by a human expert and rules used by the expert system to make a decision that means there are some rules and there are some facts, means hypothesis or uh, notions or something like that. So based upon the hypothesis, based upon the facts, there are the expert system, expert person, design some rules, design some rules to make a decision, to make a decision. Suppose there is a, the, I want to, I want to open a new shop. Consider I want to open a new shop. So what I think I have should have, I should have a detailed idea about what what shop I am going to open. What are the market competitors? What are the target audience to whom I am eyeing for? And like that, in that way, if I am opening in that shop, that means okay. So my audience is this. So my these are the facts. So my, I have to set the condition. If that particular group of the persons will come, then if suppose like you have see, heard like bookstores are giving uh, discounts to students. If the student is showing some ID card, bookstores are providing student discounts. So like in that way, so they are, that bookstore as a condition, make a condition, if a student will come, then I will give a 10% discount. So that is a decision. So that rule setting is a condition. That's a condition is set and the decision has been made based upon the, that things. So that is a knowledge base. So here in information system, you have to have an expert system who makes a certain rules to design a decision. I'm trying to enter. Please come first from next class. Uh, then second one is inference engine. What is inference in inference? Inference means to infer. What to infer? From where to infer? It is a software program that applies the rules to data stored in the knowledge base to reach the decision. Means there are some like we are reading a book. We are reading a book. We are reading a story. From a story, we are inferring something. From a story, we are taking some messages. That messages is a, we are inferring. We are reading a program. We are reading a program, and from that program, we are inferring some meaning. We are inferring some meaning. So in the in this case of expert system, inference engine says that it is a software program that applies the rules to the data which stored in the knowledge base. Knowledge base is what? It's a database. Knowledge base is a database which consists of some facts because database is consists of data and that data is nothing but the fact and it may be figure also so that that data has to be set by some rules to make some decision why did that is stored that is stored because to take some decision based upon some rules and that is in database so inference engine is a, uh, a software program which takes the information from the knowledge base we take the information from the knowledge base to reach that destination. Now, transaction processing system. Transition before this slide, I'll just open another slide. So let me cover that one first, then I'll come to here. Okay. Uh, wait.
now it is visible students slide is visible yes sir no sir okay so what happened we have discussed this thought of information this is a pyramid nerve structure this is transaction processing system above this layer management information system above that layer decision support system and above that layer executive information so they are the top root executive information system they are the boss boss are over here transactions are doing over here transaction systems so who is doing the transactions they are the workers management information who are there there are some managers are there to do the management information system decisions on support system some senior managers are there some senior managers are there those who take the decision about the organization business now executives are there ceo md all these persons are there who takes the ex the role of executive information system so this is the hierarchy now we are talking about the transaction processing system now what is a transaction processing system it is a type of information system that collects stores and modifies which also retrieves sir, the data transaction yes hello sir yes sir slides we have not nahi just sir slide we have not nahi abhi nahi visible ho raha hai no sir just wait wait, no, wait. कैंसलिंग है ना कि अभी विजिबल हो रहा है यस सर अभी विजिबल हो रहा है स्टूडेंट यस सर यस सर ओके थैंक यू सो व्हाट आई वाज सेइंग कि ट्रांजैक्शन प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम इज अ टाइप ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम which collects the information stores the information in a database modifies the information based upon some rules and retrieve the information that based upon some um, uh, request that is a request if you put some to from the database so it retrieve the data from the transaction enterprise for example there is an airline reservation system okay so if you want to do an airline this slide you which this slide also i discuss any doubt regarding this slide just say first layer is the transaction processing system transaction is done by the workers ground level management information says ground level workers means they are the not the man held man held persons so they are working in with the computer only with computer only they are doing the some transactions okay so management information system in company the management information system are the managers okay okay now now uh, above management information system there is a uh, layer that is called decision support system decision support system means what those who are taking decision who are taking the decision some senior managers are there those who take the decision above that that is called the top root is called the boss that is called executive information system the ceo md all the persons are that called as executives okay so this is a hierarchy hierarchy of control based uh, computer based information system okay now is i am saying what is transaction processing system it is nothing but the collect store man, um, modify and retrieve the data information so examples i have given that airline reservation system electronic transfer funds etfs and bank account processing system when you are going online applying for the bank account you are updating your aadhar card your voter card information your pan card information your photo all this information you are doing so there is a different system is there transact they are doing the transactions so your account is processing your account is processing either you are on to wanting for a saving account or current account for saving account what is the requirement there are some rules so there are some rules which has govern okay now designed to process routine business transactions six time and cost efficiency by automating repetitive operation in large volume because what happened why this thing the transaction processing system they comes to in the picture because suppose in a bank how many persons are going daily suppose consider there are 50 persons are going and they are all of them are trying to open a new account or open a new account few of them are going for deposit few of them are going for withdrawal all these things now when all these persons are going at a time okay then how they will operate until unless they will store the they did, if they did not store the informations computerly manually so this is not possible so that's why this transaction processing system is important okay 
now what is a transaction now comes about what is a transaction it is a business activity between a seller and buyer buyer to exchange an asset for payment suppose it may be anything it is not necessary that you give me a product and i will pay you the money only initially though it was like uh, whatever you suppose you send me some data i will give you some data that is also the transactions like you give me some data i'll give you the data like you i will give you the exam um, questions if you able to give me the solution of the class test results like this so this is also a transaction so it is a transaction that is a, if in a business how it is happening between a buyer and a seller that is a client and a custom uh, uh, host company so there is a host company is there and there is a client company is there so client is putting request and host is company is serving that request so basic business operations such as customer orders purchase orders receive time card invoices and payroll checks in an organization these are the basic things the basic things means basic transactions now what are the types of transactions there are two types of transaction that is a internal transaction another one is external what is internal transactions internal transaction are those transactions which are internal to the company and nothing to do with the other persons which are outside the company and are related with the internal working in an organization for example recruitment policy how what, what are the recruitment policy should be there that guidelines is defined by the company it is not necessary that someone who is outside he can enter inside may uh, interfere in that recruitment policy of that particular company so that is sole authority okay the second one is promotion policy so promotion policy company to company vary so a company person uh, if inside a company so he has to abide with the rules and regulations he knows all these things okay so what is the company promotion policy all these things but the person who is outside the company or outside the organization he cannot do the things production policy now how what are the production policy suppose this year market is down so how much product we should develop if we develop regular way like suppose 1 million ton every year my uh, capacity is there production capacity if this year also i will uh, uh, generate 1 million uh, capacity of uh, 1 million ton of capacity of the product then it might be possible all the product will not be sold so i will may in future what will happen i may face loss so that is the production policy what how what at what amount we have to produce based and this decision these are the taken by the decision so these are the transactions so this is internal transaction now what about the external transactions it was the those transactions which are external to the organization and are related with the external sources like regarded as external transaction for example sales and purchase because sales inside a company if your company is producing some product that means inside a company it can't sell where do it will sell it will sell to the outside of the company and purchase who will purchase the outsider of the company so selling and purchasing is done by the outsiders is done at with the outsiders and uh, payroll system uh, policy or um, uh, promotion these all the th systems are transactions are done with inside the organization so there are two types of things that is a internal transaction that is external transaction okay secondary is history of transaction process i am not going with this so this is a transaction initially people used to do with the transistors so they are trapping uh, typewriting messages all this informations through all these things but later on during the american airlines informations okay but later on what it happened the computer comes and the everyone is trying to communicate with the computer and the time is reduced drastically what are the qualifiers in order to qualify as a transaction processing system a transactions made by the system must pass to sc test so there is a term called sc every alphabet has a name meaning that we discuss what is sc the sc test refers to the following prequel sc a for atomicity t for consistency i for isolation and d for durability sc a for atomicity c for consistency i for isolation d for durability what is atomicity atomicity means the transactions is either completed or not completed 
if a transaction is doing either completed or not completed that is atomicity if it is in between that is not it atomicity okay if started and it is in between that is not atomicity for example if funds are transferred from one account to another this only counts a, as a bona fide bona fide transaction if both the withdrawals are deposit take place if one account is debited and other account is not credited it does not qualify as a transaction suppose i am trying to send you 100 rupees to your account okay so and i have initiated the transaction i have paid but money has not debited at your account money has not uh, credited in your account then how you will know it, can you say that is a transaction no in sending is done but receiving has not done so how it is be possible so that's what i am saying either it is possible or not possible it cannot be a half pay so that is atomicity consistency means the transaction process system exists within a set of operating rules what are those operating rules are integrity constants integrity constant means consistency and accuracy okay accurate if an integrity constant states that the all the transactions in database must have a positive value okay any transaction with a negative value would be refused consistency means suppose i money suppose he my earning is 10000 can i can you say something like my earning is minus 2000 you can't say earnings cannot be negative and never be negative always positive it may be zero but it can be minus okay so that's why when you are storing the data you should be consistent the transaction should be consistent transactions isolation transaction must appear to take in place in isolation for example, when a fund transfer is made between two accounts, the deb debiting of one and the crediting of another must appear to take place simultaneously. It doesn't mean like that. Suppose uh, I have sent the money at six o'clock; it will reach to after um, I mean, it will reach at uh, your account after uh, five days. This should not be possible. This should not be considered. So the funds cannot be credited to an account before they are debited from another. So once it will be debited credit from an account then only it will be credited to your account okay so that is called isolation the durability how durable the product is once the transactions are completed they cannot be undo because i have sent you the money can i stop that because i have already sent sent the money can i stop in between no so once the transactions are completed they cannot be undone to ensure that this is the case where even if the transaction processing system suffers failure, a log will be created to document all the completed transactions. So there is a log file is there. How many transactions are there? When happens? What amount of transactions happens? All these things. So these four conditions, that is the SED, atomicity, consistency, integrity, sorry, isolation and durability. So these four conditions ensure that the transaction processing system carry out their transactions in a meta uh, methodological methodical and standardized reliable manner so it should be a reliable one transactions it should not be a spoofy spoof, transactions like uh, people are hacking that is also a transaction someone hacked your account and took your all money that is also a transaction but that is not accurate transactions so yours should be a reliable transactions Features of transaction processing system. There are two features that is called rapid response and continuous availability. Data integrity, ease of use. These are the four features. What is rapid response? Fast response should be there because someone requests you that I need information regarding this. So there should be a uh, ultra fast response from the user to that uh, questionnaire. Continuous availability. E every time it should be available. It's not like that your work is over, I'll delete the data. That should not be allowed. Every time it is available, continuous availability. Data integrity. This system must be able to handle the hardware and software problems without corrupting data. Multiple users may be protected to attempt to change the same piece of data at the same time. For example, two operators cannot sell the same seat on an aeroplane. Like suppose seat number 7C. If 7C seat is allotted to someone, that 7C can be allotted to the other party because it is already allotted. Okay. Ease of use. Often users of transaction processing system are casual users. The system should be simply simple for them to understand 
protect them from data entry errors as much as possible and allow them to easily correct the errors so those who are using the advanced version of notepad or uh, uh, some uh, like your compilers or everything they know that there is uh, automatically coming when you are typing a keyword it is automatically coming that is a keyword or not or something like that so why these things are come because this is the ease of the use now what are the components of transaction system first the user who is using the transaction system participant how are the, who are the participants in that transaction system people from where environment become participant of the system as they directly enter transactions and perform validations okay so users are there this is environment so our environment so you some users are there and they are communicating with the information system boundary inside this information system boundary what is going on participants are there data information are there it information are there they are communicating with the information process to by for a some purpose for some purpose that is called information system batch processing system batch processing is where the information is collected and stored as a batch but not processed in like when you are purchasing something from a credit card credit card suppose i today is uh, 24 i purchase one item tomorrow is 25 i purchase another item next day is 26 i purchase another item so finally when the credit card bill comes the 25th purchase 25th purchase 26th purchase it is all listed over there it is not sending me that uh, credit card statement every day it is sending credit card statement after a month in a month within a month how many transaction we have done that it is displaying over there that is called that happens in the batch so this is called batch processing payment by check credit card etc all these things okay so there are types of uh, transaction processing system that is called oldp oldp is nothing but online transaction processing those who are interested to study machine learning or data mining they will understand this thing oldp what is oldp online transaction processing so you are transaction is processed online by online real time transaction most on in online uh, shopping real time because uh, when you are purchasing a product if you will see after 10 days suppose the product is uh, maybe in a case of a reservation system i can say hotel price or a flight price all these things they are up and down like suppose the flight price is 1000 up then after 15 days it may be 500 down like this so that is a real time transactions okay if some transaction is going on that is, that is a real time transaction so you have a input that is a computer you are doing some transactions you are sending some informations and this information is stored in a output device and that output device is processed processed output device informations and this information are stored in uh, invoices monthly bills reports and summaries updating and processing okay okay so now data processing cycle data processing cycle start from data entry okay what is data entry collecting and capturing transactions no longer manual old technologies If old technology what are those that the barcode magnetic strip credit card these all are your old technology what is the new technology rfid remote frequency what is that for uh, remote frequency rfid small cards okay now schematic view transaction processing system is this one operational database customer relationship manager crm okay so business transactions are um, input to this transaction processing system now the output is a database of valid transactions here in mis is there management information system and it has applications also who, who is governing this mis that is a corporate database of internal data and database of external data so th then what happens that it goes to the application database okay so once from the application database this corporate uh, internet employee decision support system executive support system expert system all are monitored over here now there is a cycle database maintenance data um, document generation okay inquiry processing you people study these things i am not going deeply if you not understood that is okay then i am coming to that lecture okay i will say to the screen
now it is visible students please respond is it visible yes sir yes sir yes sir so now coming to this part we have learned that transition processing transition is an exchange between two party buyer and seller okay and store here who is the buyer and seller buyer and seller media of a computer system okay transaction processing system is an information system which provides a way to collect process store display modify and cancel the transactions and data are collected by transition processing system stored in a database as i discussed early transition processing system used batch processing batch processing means transaction is done in a batch as i i told you na every day you are purchasing something but in a month at a whole the uh, month cycle that bill is generated so the most uh, fundamental computer based system in an organization Uh, as uh, pertains to the processing of business transactions a transaction is an event or activity that affects the whole organizations because if something some item is check purchase which is not of use that means what it, it lost no one is using a transaction uh, sorry a placing orders placing orders uh billing customers hiring of employees and depositing checks are some of the common transactions okay so the types of transaction that occur vary from organization to organization because it is not necessary in bank what are the transactions is going on it not necessary that in insurance office also same transactions are must be going on. or in a uh, it company same transactions are going on so that transactions are very to vary from depending upon the organizations so the example is the process of buying and selling a product transaction processing system example is process of buying and selling a product the process of withdrawing a class, uh, cash from atm atm withdrawal accounting information system the collection storage just wait a minute the collection so here another information system that is called accounting information so what uh, we have discussed last time last class i have given a example of a tally so that is an accounting information system what it is doing the collection storage processing and financial in the accounting data that is used by decision makers who are they because company decision makers are there so accounting system, system is what doing the decision which they have taken they are following that same things based upon whether they are checking their cost checking an accounting information system is generally a computer based method for tracking accounting activity in conjunction with the information technology resources so what are the transactions happening how many purchase order purchase today how many what are the order we received how many order we are going to deliver tomorrow all these informations is kept by accounting information system now the resulting statistical reports can be used internally by management or externally by other interesting parties like if i know if i can tell you an example every stock or every company has a quarter to quarter result and annual to annual result okay so they are making them public for the company person as well as for the outsider so that by looking that the outsider may be um, happy may feel happy that this company is growing company or doing something very good so that he may invest his money so that's me the means that what i am saying it is uh, the result statistical report can be used internally for management and externally by the other person okay so the main task of this information system that is the accounting information is collecting the data manipulating the data storing the data and provide the documents okay next is we have discussed the categories of different control based in computer based uh, information system and uh, first we we have discussed like management information system what is management information system doing it provides an input to be used in the managerial decision process deals with the supporting well structured decision situation typical information requirements can be anticipated okay. next one is the transaction process system just we have covered it sub Institutes computer-based processing and manual processes. Okay, so it includes record-keeping applications. Next is your decision support system, which we have discussed already. It provides the information to managers who make judgments without particular situation. 
who make judgments without particular situation that is called decision support system supports decision makes in situations that are not well structured okay office automation system we just cover it is a multi function integrated computer based system that allows many office activities to be performed in in an electronic mode multi function office automation system is a multi function it uh, like it can be a multiple things like someone is a uh, transition is doing with from one uh, layer to another hierarchy another hierarchy to the hr level hr level to the account department account department to the as a um, uh, re releasing department salary releasing department so these all are office automation system okay now what is the difference between the management information system and decision support system management information system are very much dependent on the computer expert whereas dependent uh, decision su support system are dependent on the managerial judgment so whatever the managerial has to say or take the decisions they have to follow that is the decision support system yeah, the main main stress is on the efficiency so in uh, mis the efficiency has been increased over the decision support system the main emphasis here is laid on the effectiveness so here efficiency is here effectiveness so deliver the system depending on the frozen requirements whatever the requirements are there that item has to be delivered like here in decision support system what it is happening the current data can be used in the decision support system okay now we uh, have some advantages and disadvantages let us first discuss some advantages the first advantage is uh, using computer based information system is communication so without the computers your customers cannot connect with to you directly so what they will do they will call you through our phone they will fax you they will write you mail or they come as a physically to you now with the computers they can reach you through mail just a minutes second away you said type a message whatever you want and you just send away within a minute of a second of time it will be reached like uh, your computer they can reach you through email facebook other uh, social media sites and your websites they can comment on your blog and compete your customer service there are many advantages to computer based system the superior speed first is speed superior speed with which data is can be accessed additional confidentiality afforded so confidence means secure efficient fast secure data redundancy data redundancy means there is no duplicate data every data is unique the reduction in space needed to store in information so space is reduced time is reduced uh, um, uh, confidence in security is kept maintained redundancy is reduced so these are the advantages of using computer based information system what are the disadvantages unemployment how unemployment is a dis disadvantage because while it may have streamlined the business process it has also created job redundancies how downsizing and outsourcing this means that a lot of lower and middle level jobs have been done away with causing more people to become unemployed so away more persons are going and working over there now that for that purpose here there is a space is created okay the space is created here so the privacy is another issue and that means the though the it may have made communication quicker easier and more convenient it has also brought along the privacy issues how from all the cell phone signals interceptions to email hacking people are now worried about their uh, about their once private in information becoming public knowledge like uh, people are now discussing that uh, uh, who is texting or whom uh, and what day they are texting all these things now comes to that means there is no uh, no privacy over there okay no privacy over there everything is open so that everyone can use and access lack of job security uh, industry experts believe that the internet has made a job security a big issue that i can give you in a small example so initially what we learn we learn to pronounce the word we learn to pronounce the word later on what happens in youtube uh, sorry in uh, word or in uh, text no text pad or something like that not edit not uh, the editor so there is a terms auto correction 
so auto correction is there once you select the auto correction your wrong word is the um, corrected wrong word is corrected so that means when you are using this things technology you are not able to remember the spellings what is the spelling of uh, einstein i forgot but when i am typing einstein it is cursor is showing that this is wrong and this is the right one okay so that is a la lack of job security also dominant culture while it may have made the world global village it has also supported to one culture dominating another weaker one for example it is now argued that us influence how much young teenagers all over the world now act english becoming the primary mode of communication for business processes okay so try always to speak in english as as far as possible because english is utmost required because in your interview process you will be questioned as an english so computers generally reduce the errors of processing however if there is an error in the input data it can result a major blunders in the processing which which the computer system is unable to detect okay so in manual system the chance of such blunders passing undetected and uh, corrected is such very very less okay so computer based system is a kind of automations so you fix the rules and based upon the rules that will be followed okay now this with this uh, your uh, uh, syllabus is over the things which i have mentioned over here that uh, informations now any student have any doubt please ask i am stopping